Hi, my name is Rachel Pickens, and this is Sweet Talk. Today's discussion on Sweet Talk is to learn more about Sweet Link, which is the connection between your construction suite and construction online. To recap, Construction Suite is going to be our desktop project management tool that combines estimating, scheduling, contract and document management and reporting, along with our QuickBooks integration and other nice tools like a CRM system, calendars, and to-dos. Construction Online, however, is going to be our web-based project collaboration tool that allows you to keep everyone on your project team up to date and make sure that your clients and subcontractors have the latest information on their project. Today's goal is to really show you how SweetLink works, to review how to actually upload that information between the two programs, uh, and give you a good idea of what that actually includes. SweetLink, again, is the connection between your construction suite and construction online systems, and it's included as a part of our Total Care membership, which is our premium benefits package that includes training and support, updates and upgrades, and the integration with Construction Online via SuiteLink. First, you'll want to activate your SuiteLink ser service in order to begin uploading information to Construction Online from your Construction Suite system. Right now, we're looking at our Today screen, which is the very first login view that you're going to see when you access Construction Suite. And you'll go to Tools, Options, Construction Online, and Account Configuration. Within this window, you can either create a new construction online account or enter the account that you already have created. As you can see, I've already entered mine. Once you're finished, you'll click OK to activate the SuiteLink connection between Construction Suite and Construction Online. You can always determine how your SuiteLink service is connected in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. You'll see that little window where you have both the weather and online tabs. When you click on the online tab, it'll show that your SuiteLink status is online and ready to transfer information. Once you're activated, you can launch Construction Online at any point by clicking on this orange button, which will open your Construction Online account, or we can begin transferring files and information between Construction Suite and Construction Online so that we can access that information from the field or share it with others on our project team. The easiest way to share information between these two systems is via project files. Within your project files view, you're going to see all of the projects that you've created or have been shared with you. Notice the difference between your briefcases and your globes. Briefcases are going to represent projects that are only on construction suite, meaning they have not yet been uploaded or shared. The globes that are full of color are going to be the ones that are both in construction suite and construction online. And the globes at the bottom that are slightly faded are going to be projects that have been shared with you on Construction Online, but do not yet exist in Construction Suite. To begin transferring information to Construction Online, we're going to take a look at this Corporate Center Building One project. As you can see, it has a briefcase, so it has not yet been uploaded. And we have four files contained within this project that I'm wanting to share. The top half of the screen are going to represent the project files that are stored within your Construction Suite whereas the bottom half of the screen are going to be those that have been uploaded to Construction Online. The easiest way to transfer information is to simply drag that file by clicking on it and dragging it to the gray area, in which case it's going to upload that as a read-only document, most often cases as a PDF, to your Construction Online system. Once complete, you'll notice your SuiteLink status is going to show that it's preparing the transfer and uploading the files, and when finished, you'll notice that it's uploaded and refreshed the screen automatically to show the files that have now been uploaded on Construction Online. This is going to create the project on Construction Online as well as creating a copy of it. And let's go ahead and take a look at what we see. I'm going to use this Launch Construction Online button to open Construction Online. The very first thing we'll see on Construction Online is our latest view, which gives us a quick look at our upcoming activities from our schedules and calendars. But if we navigate to our projects and files and select Corporate Center Building 1, we can see within our Files and Images tab the contract that we've just uploaded and the fact that the project is currently active. Now that your project has been uploaded to Construction Online, you're able to upload photos and documents. You can create punch lists or weather logs or project logs for this project from your mobile apps or from within Construction Online. 
And you can also set up your client and subcontractor portals, provided that you have a Construction Online Pro account. Be sure that once you've uploaded a project, if you are ready for other people to see it, you will first want to set permissions for those members. And you can do so from the Settings tab. Within the Settings tab, you'll be able to assign your clients, subcontractors or suppliers and set up their personal portals, or you can set up the project permissions for other team members um, that are internal to your company. So for example, Ben is going to be one of my colleagues. I want to give him the ability to view and upload pictures and photos to this project, so I'll set his permissions as view, upload, download. Now that I've set permissions for this Corporate Center Building 1, any new files that I upload to this project are going to be automatically available to those that have permissions. Now back in Construction Suite, there are a few other ways that we can upload files, um, including uploading schedules themselves. Now in this case, I already have my proposal for Corporate Center Building 1 open, and I've just finished making changes. You'll notice that we have this button to save the construction online, which will automatically upload that file either as a PDF or one of the following formats to Construction Online within the project that you've already created. Once finished, it'll appear on Construction Online so that you can view it from your mobile apps or have others access it from the field. Notice that the proposal is now listed in the bottom section as well. Now the schedule uploads are going to be really neat in that they're going to offer you the ability to take a schedule that you've created in Construction Suite's on-plan scheduling program. So as we can see, we've got a nice schedule created for this Corporate Center Building 1. I'm using on-plan scheduling, and now I'm ready to upload that to Construction Online so that my team members can make changes from the field. To do so, you're simply going to click Save or Publish to Construction Online, where you'll have the option to either publish to the Construction Online scheduling tool. That's going to require a Construction Online Pro membership, which gives you the ability to manage those schedules online. Or you can upload this schedule as a PDF copy as well, so you can view it from a mobile device. We'll choose the first option to publish the Construction Online Scheduling, and once complete, you'll notice that we get a pop-up letting us know that the export has completed successfully and will now appear on Construction Online. To find the schedule online, you're simply going to go back to Construction Online, use the left side navigation to hop on over to your scheduling tool, and we'll see that the schedule for Corporate Center Building 1 has been created. With schedules, you'll want to manage those permissions separately. So if I want to give somebody else the ability to edit or view the schedule, I can use this drop-down menu and select Edit to determine other editors or viewers of this particular schedule file. If we click on the schedule itself, notice that the same Gantt view is going to appear as it does in our Construction Suite program. And now I can go and make changes, update durations, statuses, set percentages complete, anything as far as updating my schedule within the Construction Online system. Once your schedule has been uploaded to Construction Online, we typically see most users managing the schedule online rather than downloading it back into Construction Suite. However, you're certainly able to do just that. To download your schedule to Construction Suite, you'll simply go to your Scheduling tab, Download from Construction Online, in which case you'll see all of your schedules listed. The first schedule appears is going to be our Corporate Center Building 1. When we select Download, it's going to create a second copy with a timestamp to show the date that we've downloaded this new schedule file. Now what happens if people in the field are uploading information to Construction Online? How can we see that information back in Construction Suite? Let's go ahead and take a look at that project that we've created for Corporate Center Building 1 and Upload Files. We're going to use this Upload button to upload photos directly from our site. And once finished, we'll go ahead and click Close. So now we've uploaded this new photo. Again, you can upload photos from your computer like we're doing now, or you can use our on-site photo app to take pictures directly from your iPhone, iPad, or Android device and upload those to the project in Construction Online. Now that I've uploaded a photo online, I can see the photo has been uploaded from Construction Suite, again, through my Project Files view. Notice that this Veer Towers job site is listed as one of the project's images. And if I want to pull that back into Construction Suite, all I need to do is click on that file and either select the Download button in the upper right corner of this section or simply drag it to the upper section to download it into Construction Suite. Once that's finished, you'll notice again that Veer Towers 
is now appearing as an image from within my construction suite system as well. Notice also that the Corporate Center Building 1's icon has changed from a briefcase to a globe. The last thing I want to cover is going to be the syncing of your calendars and your to-do items from within Construction Suite. So let's take a look at the overview page for this project, the Corporate Center project. In this overview page, we get a quick look at all of the upcoming activities. We can see all of the files or access our project logs. This is also where we can add new calendar events or to-do items and that are going to sync with your construction online system. We'll go ahead and create a new to-do. We can assign a, a due date, relate a contact to this, or relate a project. You can see that Corporate Center Building has already been selected. Note that when you're creating to-dos within Construction Suite and you want those to sync with Construction Online, you'll need to make sure that you're choosing one of the projects that have a globe. Projects without a globe or just a briefcase will not be uploaded to Construction Online. Once you're finished, go ahead and click OK. We can see the to-do item appearing in our to-do list within Construction Suite, but we can also access that same to-do within our Construction Online system. Notice back in the project overview of Corporate Center Building 1, the to-do item that I've just created has automatically been pushed to Construction Online and now appears in my to-do section. The same is going to be true of an activity or a calendar event. So for example, as today is the 7th, I'll go ahead and add a new activity on my calendar. and select Add Event. Once the event has been added to your calendar, you'll see that it will redirect you to the calendar page within Construction Online. So we can see the event listed here. Back in Construction Suite, we can refresh the view, and you'll notice that it's going to appear now in our Activities window within the project and on our calendar, which is located here on the left sidebar. So in closing, Construction Suite and Construction Online can be connected through SuiteLink, which is going to allow you to share files, photos, estimates and schedules, pictures, and any important documents on your project with anyone on your project team or by downloading those within the Construction Suite. That's all for today. Thanks so much.